Hello Tigers and welcome to another edition of Tiger Every News. I'm Ken Gonzalez. And I'm Chata. Spring sports have started. We sent our reporters to see what's going on. John Cody Boys Baseball had a game against the Summit Charter Grizzlies. It was a back-to-back -back game, but Tigers fell short to a score of 4-3. Today I'm here with Coach Sotelo, and today I'm here to talk to oh, Mr. Yugashi Van. Hello guys, today I'm here with Coach Sotelo, and I'm here to talk to him about track. Uh, Coach, how do you feel the season's going to turn out? I think it's going to be a good season. Everybody's been putting in a lot of work. Compared to last year, we have a big number of kids. Last year we had about eight students playing. We have up to 25 to 30 right now. So I think it's going to be a good season for the school. That's good, that's good. Um, what would you say is your strongest group? The strongest group are the sprinters. We had a, our first meet last week. The relay team took first place. So the sprinters are definitely up there. And what would you like to say about the kids, the, their work ethic? The work ethic, I expect a lot from them. Um, people know I'm strict, uh, I'm hard on them because they have potential. All these kids around here have potential. You just have to bring it out on them. So it's going to be a good group and I expect big things from them. All right, there you have it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Attention all seniors, those who have not turned in a baby picture are due March 22nd. Senior pictures are due March 22nd. If you guys do not turn in a baby picture or a senior picture, you guys will not be participating in the Senior Slice Show. Turn them in to me or Kathy. Thank you. We had a very special guest. Here we have Sammy. To be in the film world, does anybody have any specific things that they want to do? Like, like any, anybody want to do a specific thing like news? or films or music videos or, or anything like that what, what what specific type of thing you want to do like espn espn okay we can talk a lot about that i know a lot about that talking about how you get started so um so first off i would highly recommend uh high school education and the, and the college education not because like i'm all like you gotta go to college and get smart like I'm recommending it because the more versatile you are, the more you know, the better you're gonna be on set. Like the the more knowledge you can bring to the set. Okay, and plus it gives college just gives you options. So if you end up going to college, and and it's not for film, you, that doesn't matter. You can turn that into film. A lot of risk, and you gotta like really just put yourself out there and pitch ideas that people think are cool. Um, it, you could just Google anything you want, but there's lots of people who have made ideas and then just like got them to the right people and then made a film. Uh, Good Will Hunting is like that, like they just kind of like pass the script to the right person and they're like, oh, I like your script, and then they bought it, right? And so there's just a lot of stuff like that in the film industry. So if you want to be in Hollywood, it might be wise to like move to Hollywood or move to LA and kind of like get close to those people that are making those films and doing those things. And that's how you can enter into the Hollywood scene uh, as far as like making films. If you want to act, I would highly recommend uh, being in every play that you can be in, uh, study acting, uh, volunteer at local community uh, playhouses, and then uh, just put yourself out there, like make a web page or a LinkedIn page or a Facebook page or Instagram, whatever you want to do, uh, and just say that you're acting, do that you're acting, volunteer. Like In order to make these two look like they're talking to each other, we can't move past this focal plane. So if I film over here, and then he films over there, it's gonna look like they're like talking away from each other. Like they're both gonna look like they're talking like this, right? It's gonna look on film like, like I'm talking to him. Like it's gonna look dumb, right? <laughs> so we don't wanna cross this focal plane. It's called the 180 degree, but whatever. Okay, so he's gonna point like this. Just make your hand like this, perfect, right? So he's gonna point at this guy, his lovely face. And he's gonna like frame him up, like kind of like right here, right? You guys following me? And same thing with this Pay guy. Attention. You're gonna move over here. That's the one. On this guy, like right here, right? So now it's gonna look as if they're both like talking like this, right? Right? When he cut, with whoever cuts it in the editing bay, right? Okay? And so now these two are like cross talking. And so we got one going this way, one going this way, and then our sound guy, right? Right here. So you got your little sound boom, and you're gonna be like this, okay? Right here. Oh, no, no, two hands, two hands. Okay, so always two hands on the sound boom because you don't want it to be all like shaking all over the place and there's usually a wire in it and if it shakes it's going to be all ting 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 and it sounds, it sounds terrible. Two hands. There you go. Okay, and so now when this guy talks, you got to move over. 
right? You gotta move over. Just right? like Simon Bear does. Just yeah, and then when you talk, he's gotta move this way, right? But he's also gotta stay out of the shot, right? So he's pointing like right at you. So you gotta... Yeah, yeah, so you want over here. It would be longer, it would be like way longer. So just like, just pretend. Right there. There you go. This is kind of like the scene we shot. This is in Hanford. We're not, we're not doing okay, this. so now the director <laughs> calls the shot, right? <laughs> clap, right in like front of one of these people, right? Yeah, like the clapper, right? Clapper. And so this way, this way, sound is synced to these guys' the sound, right? So, so the editor can edit the sound, right? And then I step out of the way, and then you wait for them to get ready, and then you say action. Action. Right. And now you guys chat about whatever. Hey bro, how you been, man? It's been like two years since I seen you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, man. Hey, well, um, so how's, how's your kid, man? I already had a kid. Oh, we already doing this for real? Like, <laughs> yeah, why not? Go. <laughs> uh, All right, cut, cut, cut. You broke. Miss Shores and Miss Garcia planned a sophomore class foot trip. We sent Amy to go check it out with Miss Shores. Hi, Miss Shores. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I heard you planned a trip for the sophomore class. How's that going? It went really well. We kind of got all the permission slips in. The kids are excited. We're actually going to be going to the Museum of Tolerance on March 8th. So they're pretty, they're excited for that. Um, where's that going to be at? Where's the museum at? Uh, it's in LA. So kind of like Beverly Hills, but they're, so they're thinking that they're going to see celebrities all day. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Miss Shores. Thank uh, you. Hope you guys have a safe trip and have fun. Yeah, take thanks. lots of pictures so we can post them. We will, we will. Bye guys. All right. Hello Tigers, I am Cesar Chavez and today we're gonna play Would You Rather. All right, Aaron, would you rather drink milk for the rest of your life or drink soda? Um, I'd rather drink milk. Why? Let's get my bones strong, but it can be weak. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Here with Carlos and Tyler. All right guys, so today we're gonna play Would You Rather and we're gonna start off with Tyler. All right, Tyler, would you rather Drive a truck, or would you rather drive a horse to school? A truck. Why a truck? It's faster. Why not a horse? It's more better. It's more, you know, it's like something rare. You don't see that all the time. Where are you going to park it? You could tie it up right there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carlos. So, would you rather have an identical twin, or would you rather have a twin that doesn't look like you? Why? So you don't like your brother then? Yeah? So, explain yourself. Why would you rather have a twin that's not identical? You want to be unique? Yeah. I know you have a target. <laughs> or would you rather be uh, uh, a... Both? <laughs> Both? <laughs> None. <laughs> None. <laughs> Alright, Felipe, would you rather go to Cal Berkeley? But you have to pay for it, or would you rather go to Fresno State and it's all free? Fresno State, cause it's all free. I don't have to pay nothing. I'll live, you know, live a good life better than. But didn't you say Cal Berkeley is like your like your future college? Like you like say you get accepted into it, but mm. you, you have to pay half of it. Well, I, I still go to Fresno State because you know money and money's money's everything in this world. So you know you need you need money to in order to succeed. And having not having not, not having no money in college is gonna be a big struggle. And you know how they say that all those kids go go through that phase where they all eat maruchanes and all that. So, nah, I'll probably go to Fresno State. Go to Fresno State. Yeah. All right. Would you rather be a teacher at Tranquility High School or would you rather be a teacher at Stanford? Tranquility yeah, High School. Why is that? Because we have great kids here. We have great staff, and we are on the rise of success and greatness. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you, sir. Here's Patty with Grad Night. Good morning, Tigers. Uh, it's Miss Patty here at the ASB window. I uh, just wanted to let you know, Senior Grad Night is coming up. It's going to be uh, May 21st. Tickets are on sale until tomorrow, February 21st, uh, or excuse me, 22nd. They're going to be $140, which will include your trip down there on the charter bus and also your day ticket for the actual park itself. So come by, see me today. $140 will uh, secure your seat on the bus. Felipe Torres has a wrap up of wrestling. It was a good tournament, but overall, through all my four years, I learned a lot. My freshman year, I didn't even know how to wrestle. So I didn't know what wrestling was until they introduced it to me, and I fell in love with the sport, honestly. Wrestling was one of the toughest sports 
in the world, in my opinion, because wrestling is a hard sport where you have to drop weight, make sure you make weight. So there was times where I had to starve myself, had to make sure I was on that, on that exact weight, and it was good, you know, the season just dropping weight, wrestling, going to big tournaments and doing doing well. And I'm glad to say that I was a tiger and I wrestled for my varsity team, and. We had a lot of good wrestlers from Mateo Dominguez, Felipe Torres, Mauricio Chavez, Brolin Castro, Angel Guillen, Martin Santos, Annabelle, Leticia, and Sarah. Our team was good this year. We impressed a lot of schools, and we did our best. And I hope we keep going. Until next time, Tigers. Love, Love peace, and, and tranquility. tranquility.